Athelstan, who is a uh, he's an Anglo-Saxon monk who is captured by Ragnar on his first raid west, um, and uh, he's taken back to Scandinavia and uh, is made he's he's made to um, adapt to his new environment and the new society, the Viking society, as Ragnar's slave. So it's, it's very uh, terrifying for him. The big research that I did, really, was in pre-production weeks, I uh, went to, I actually went to Lindisfarne Island off the coast of Northumberland um, and saw the site where the monastery was and got to experience sort of the landscape and the vast dramatic nature of it it's it's out to sea by about a mile mile and a half and you have to, the only way you can get to it is a causeway um and you know you can only go along that causeway when the tide goes out so it's it's yeah it was a very a very valuable experience for me in getting into character and uh and kind of getting in the mind of what it was to be an anglo-saxon monk and i think that's what the series will do every week and why people will come back and watch it is because every episode you, you learn so many new aspects to their their lives and their, their way of living and uh, it was it was kind of great playing the character that has to discover all of that new because you felt like you were as well mm. along with the character you know and, and Michael really wanted Athelstan to be the eyes of the audience and get the audience to experience this new culture and this new world through his eyes. It's such a gift um, for an actor to work on something where the, pr where the production values are so, so high and are at such a level where you, you walk into a studio and you forget you're in a studio because you are just, you are in a Viking world. Everything that was built was built the way the Vikings would have built them. This, I mean, the, this, the details on set were so, that utensils on tables and and items that you could interact with on the set were, were all there and all real and all made the way that the Vikings made them. So, um, yeah, it was, it, it, it's kind of like you don't have to work very hard. It, it's um, hugely exciting because, you know, when you audition for a show like this, uh, you're maybe shown the first two or three episodes of your character's arc and um, you, don't, you don't know what will happen to your character, whereas a film you get cast... Mm you know what the two hour journey is or whatever and you know your character goes from A through B and then ends up at C but on episodic television you don't really know so you know every time new scripts come in or new script edits come in every fortnight or every week it's it's fantastic because you there are some <laughs> big surprises you know and, and you think oh wow my character gets to do that in a few weeks time and, and uh, it keeps you on your toes you know do you have any scenes with Gabriel Byrne? I do, yes. Yeah, I do. what was it like working um, with him? I mean, he is a phenomenal man. He, I mean, you, you're on set with him and you, you sort of, you don't really know how to behave because, <laughs> because he, uh, he, he just, he, I mean, he, he's been doing it for so long and the, the CV he has and the amount he's been on those sets, it, he's so, so, so good at his job that you can only you can only take and take from him you know just being on set with him let alone actually getting to do a scene with him you just gain so much experience and learn so much from him so it was a, a blessing to be on set with him really um, but uh, yeah he's a uh, he is quite literally a movie star when you see the series you know just the, the energy he has on screen is can't take your eyes away.